to return. So in death for our enemy character, we want to check spawn number. If we want to spawn the pickup, then we'll get a new branch. And on true, we will spawn pickup. False, we'll just go straight to destroying this actor. So I'm going to drag this down and tidy up a bit. And on true, we need to create a new function called spawn pickup. And in spawn pickup, we're going to do similar to what we just did. However, we're going to have a new input of actor, which will be a type actor. And we're going to create another random float, which again will give a local variable of RNG and set using that. And now this number is going to be checked because now we know we're spawning the pickup. We want to check what type of pickup we're spawning. So we can do less than or equal to, and I'm going to say 0.4 for health. So health is the most commonly one spawned. And then I'm going to have my ammo and my double points. So 0.4 for health, if that's true, then we want to spawn actor from class. And I want to spawn my health drop. Now it's spawn transform I can get from my actor by getting get actor location. And then if it's false, we'll get another branch statement where we would say is RNG greater than 0.4 or whatever this number is. So let's create a local variable and we'll do health range, which we'll call 0. Point which will give a value of 0.4. So if RNG is greater than health range, but is less than or equal to ammo range, and we'll give this a value of 0 0.7. So less than or equal to ammo range. And we need an AND boolean. So if these are both true, then we'd spawn our ammo, which we don't have set up yet. And if this is false, we do one more check, which I'm just going to copy paste this. we'll do points range which will be one then we'll spawn our points and the reason we're doing if statements and not switch statements is that because we have a range a switch statement is more for is it 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 whilst our if statement range is, is it between 0.1 and 0.3, for example. So now we can spawn our actor health drop when our enemy dies. And because we've done in the enemy health, then all we have to do is call it spawn pickup, use our enemy character as our actor, and destroy the character afterwards. And now when I shoot my enemy, nothing spawned, shoot them again, nothing spawned. I'm not sure if I'm just being really unlucky here. Okay, now we'll try one more time. There it is, our health drop is where our enemy died. And to let you know that it works the exact same, I'm going to get damaged. And now my health drop has dropped. And when I pick it up, I've got full health and it's disappeared and won't respawn. Okay, but if I kill them 
This would help if I had more than one enemy. There we go. As you see, when I went over it with full health, we still picked it up. So if you see, we call picked up and then destroy the actor here. Whilst we should go into here and do destroy actor. So when we've made sure they've picked up the health, then we destroy the actor. Now when I walk into the health, it's still there. And if we wait 10 seconds, which I'll probably speed up the video for, the health has disappeared. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. A dislike if you didn't. If you opinions otherwise, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to it as soon as possible. As always, you can hit me up on Twitter if you need to or want to. It's at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys.